Hey everyone, I have the Samsung uh, Solid State Drive 840 Pro Series. Um, and I got this a few weeks ago and I was having a lot of trouble trying to load Windows on it. I actually did start to load Windows 7 onto this laptop here. It's the Lenovo Y580 series. Um, and apparently um, the BIOS it has the UEFI um, format of, of the BIOS. Um, and, uh, and it was just giving me a lot of issues. It was giving me errors after, because uh, I was trying to load Windows 7, I'm loading the wrong one, and then I was trying to load a different Windows 7. Um, and it ended up like saying um, that it could not, like that, let's, let's see, it was like this. Um, Windows cannot be installed to this disk. This left disk is of the GPT partition style, um, but actually even before that, like I was trying to just put in the CD for Windows 7 onto this computer here, and try to load it up, and you know just pretty much reformat it through the Windows um, startup page when you go to install the operating system. But it could it said that there was no partition there, like the that uh, it was not able to reformat or anything like that. So that was very weird. So if you don't have a second computer to reformat the hard drive, you're gonna have a hard time. So anyway, I had to take this brand new, you know, four hundred dollar hard drive, solid state drive, and uh, I couldn't use it at the time. I had to um, figure this out. So I was trying to switch this computer um, in the BIOS screen to the legacy support, um, which you know should load other operating systems, but apparently then it, you know I, it wasn't able to do it at all. And, it, and with the with the solid state drive that I got here, I could only install Windows 8 on it because Windows 7 and earlier. Um, do not support UEFI. It must be something with Lenovo when they sent out this computer with Windows 8. And they had to have that format and it was just causing a lot of trouble. So I had to load Windows 8 on it. But even before that, I had to um, reformat because it said Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. And so what you will need to do, you know, you'll You'll pretty much um, set it up, um, and you'll go into Command Prompt because you want to reformat it. Um, you'll you'll want to be going into a computer that is able to start up Windows in the first place, so you can actually go to Command Prompt. Which, if you have Windows 8, search, and then you go to CMD, enter, and um, just so it's easier. I have a website here that goes runs through it, and I can even just um, copy and paste this over to you guys, so you know exactly what you can do from here. Because you're gonna need to clean it out if you have any. Um, if you have anything important on your hard drive, you want to save it to an external hard drive or to an online backup service before you do this. So you have it running. Um, you're gonna uh, you're gonna type in disk part. And from there, you're gonna um, you're gonna list list volume. You're gonna type in list volume, and then it's gonna come up with you know everything in your system, and you know, like hard drives there. So once it has that, you will find which one you're looking for, and you'll type uh, select a volume, um, and then whatever number that is. And press enter and then from there you're gonna type uh, clean because you have that that hard drive selected now so you're gonna type clean and enter and from there you're gonna create partition primary that's important because if if the partition isn't created as the primary one then it won't load up Windows properly either so from there, you want to format it um, 
format it to fs equals ntfs quick and label equals test um, that you can do it'll just do a quick format to the ntfs file which is needed to um, in order to load windows on it now if you just have like a regular desktop computer I mean obviously you probably won't have this problem but for laptops it seems like this is a new thing that's coming up it's an issue it was causing me a lot of headaches and then you're gonna from here you're gonna assign the letter X so um, you can see right down here assign letter equals one so um, that's where you're gonna assign the drive and then you'll you'll then um, close the disk part um, tool by just hitting exit so then your <clears throat> your hard drive is ready to use so um, that will pretty much do it I mean that's what it, it works for me so um, at that point I could load up um, the CD with Windows 8 and be on my way from there so Hope that helps you guys because it was a big headache for me. It took me a while to even figure that out. Um, but uh, let me know if you have any questions.